Rafael Nadal. Our once king's descent from the tennis hierarchy has been quite quick and slightly painful at times to watch. Ouch! For so long, Nadal remained an unstoppable force, like a furious Spanish tornado destroying anything and anyone that crossed his path. Okay, that was super cheesy, but you guys get what I'm saying. Nadal even lost two tournaments recently on clay, his favorite surface to play on. He went down at the Rio Open in the semis and also at the Argentina Open in the semis as well. Rafa had been so strong on clay through his career that he had even been named the King of Clay. Nadal, what is happening here? Ah! Then, to top it all off, as some of you may recall, Rafa was also taken out in the very first round of the Australian Open to Fernando Verdasco. After a bit of a disappointing 2015, and a lot of skeptics wondering if this was perhaps the beginning of the end for Nadal, Rafa still went into the 2016 season feeling confident that he would turn things around and bring his career full circle. Unfortunately for our former world number one, that has definitely not been the case. And what's troubling about Nadal's poor start in 2016 is something that he actually himself noted before. The more a player loses, the harder it is for them to come back. Tennis is one of the, if not the, most mental sports out there. And you don't have a team to rely on, to pick you up when you're down, or pick up your slack when you're having an off day. You're all alone, just you and your conscience. Each loss can chip away at that player's confidence. So the more someone loses, the deeper those mental ruts can get. At this point in time, it would appear that Nadal's mental toughness will need some serious rehabilitation if he's gonna turn things around in 2016. It's not impossible, but it certainly will be an uphill battle. But hey, a lot of people thought Roger Federer was in the twilight of his career and on the outs back in 2014, and look how he came back. So, will Nadal do the same? I'm not so sure, but next up is Indian Wells. So let's all send Rafa some serious, serious positive vibes. Go Rafa, you can do it. Third, thank God for Nick Kyrgios. We can always count on him for a little excitement. He just loves a good battle with opponents, fans, friends in his players box. I mean, he really doesn't discriminate. 